Gladys means everything to me. I have to stay with her until she fully recovers from the disappearance of her husband. She desperately needs someone to take care of. And that's me. You know, since I moved in, she's much like her old self again. I have to be careful with Norma, my caretaker. I know she suspects I'm faking my limited mobility. So I have to keep her happy. In the meantime, what would I do with my time being alone without Gladys's computer? I don't want her to know what I'm watching. So I clear the history before I shut down. Later I'm going to ask her if I can get my own computer. What I watch keeps me entertained. Life as an undercover law enforcement officer is hard. One of the hardest aspects of the job is family separation, followed by being someone else and not yourself. It can get confusing. There are significant safety hazards, even lethal ones. You have to know how to deal with and control fear. On the other side, the cluster operates across a broad band of scams, employing the young and the old and everyone in between, operating not just out of the U.S., but sourcing frauds from all over the world. Russia is involved in a multi-billion dollar illegal enterprise with a growth rate and leading corporations would envy. As the digital age expands, along with its reach in society, so do fraudsters' opportunities for leveraging technology in fraudulent enterprises. One of fraudsters' delights? Seeding computers with malware to create mischief. All Froster has to do is to catch you or me unawares when using the internet, triggering a malware download event followed by your computer is locked and holding it for ransom. Witness what happens to Harold in our vignette. This can't be. Should I shut down and start up again? I can't wait to have Gladys find her computer locked. If she makes a call, it'll be a disaster. I haven't cleared the history. She'll know that I've been watching and what I've been watching. How do I get out of this? Oh, there's a number. I better call it right away. One, eight, six, six, two, three, seven, eight. Internal Revenue Service, how can I direct your call? This is Howard Louser, L-O-U-S-E-R. I'm calling because my daughter's computer's locked out. And what is your name, sir? Gladys Verber, V-E-R-B-E-R. -E -E one moment, please. Let me direct your call to one of our agents. Thank you. I'm going to put this guy on speakerphone. Hello, my name is Bandy About. Mr. Lauser, we've been trying to contact your daughter for some time now without a response. So we've taken this step to get her attention because our next step is to have her arrested. This can't be. What is all this about? Well, your daughter hasn't been paying her taxes, and she now owes IRS $5,550.88. What? Yes, sir. And as I said, she either pays first to have her computer unlocked, and second, to preclude being arrested. Well, what can I do? Well, 
as you are her father, you can act on her behalf and save her and everyone a lot of trouble. Okay, let's do it. How do I pay? Well, sir, you are in luck. We just launched a new system for payment using credit cards. Okay, let's get on with it. Visa, MasterCard, or something else? Visa. Just a moment, sir, while I confirm the transaction. Mr. Lowser, I'm sorry, sir, but that card number did not go through. Do you have another card? This is unbelievable. Hold on a second. Thank you, sir. That worked. In a few minutes, you will have your computer unlocked. You are obviously a wonderful father. Goodbye. The ever creative cluster caught and harvested a vulnerable Harold money in this computer lock scam. Harold was a nervous internet user. Harold did not want Gladys to know he was entertaining himself on her computer. Roster is exquisite in exploiting vulnerabilities. Our interest as internet users and in security grows astronomically and Frosters keeping pace. Download Frosters computer efficiency software and you'll be downloading Froster malware. Access music or pornography? Froster's pop-ups will block your view. Go away, you say. So you click a little X in some corner of the screen and the pop-up goes away. However, Ruster's malware is downloaded into your computer and the next thing you know, the FBI, Homeland Security, IRS have locked your computer. Threatening jail, offering release only if you pay Ruster's ransom with little guarantee the malware is neutralized, much less removed. In Harold's case, Frontster's malware was perhaps located on the website Harold visited to access his entertainment. So when Frontster's malware locked the computer, Harold panicked. The computer was locked and locked by the fearsome IRS. Frontster could and does also use the FBI, Homeland Security, as his foils. In Harold's case, Fraudster inserted malware claiming the computer lock was due to IRS tax delinquency. Harold's first priority? Get the computer unlocked and later protect Gladys. Harold began to believe that if he didn't pay, Gladys could in fact go to jail. And after what she had been through, this would be devastating. Every resourceful Fraudster accommodated his scam to ensnare Harold. He didn't care who paid, as long as the money was transferred. In these scams, Monster often uses the green dot card to extract his ransom. However, in this case, Monster asks for payment by credit card. Not just one, but two. Yes, the internet and the phone paved the road to riches, and Monster may call a your internet portal, ruthless, sufficient. The thruster is only about the money until I can catch him and put him in jail for a very, very long time. Uh, Mr. Lowser, this call is Visa Card Services. Did you authorize a charge for the transfer of money to an account in India? What? Yes, sir. We just had a transaction executed on your card in India. In India? Cancel my card.
I've been taken. The old IRS scam is still alive and well. They locked my computer and threatened Gladys with jail. How could have I fallen for such a scam? 